They did it! I thought I thought that this week was gonna be a dead one because there's no live stream plan or anything like that. But they are releasing Zeldris and Chandler. And I literally made a video, right? Saying that I was expecting either Zeldris or Chandler to release this week. And then they're both releasing, so... <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 just, I just know stuff, you know? Uh, I am literally a Nemarbo employee. Uh, but one thing that was... Um, I was seeing was that people were questioning if uh, Assault Melee was going to be the next uh, festival banner and or Holy War festival banner and yes, he is here. Uh, but yeah, Zeldris and Chandler are the new festival. I mean, Ch Chandler's not a festival either. I think only Zeldris, right? Take a quick look. Yeah, I, th I think it's only Zeldris. No, oh, is Chandler also a festival? No. No, I think it's, it's only Zeldris. Um, Deputy of the Demon King Executioner Zeldris, damn. So it's not Ominous Nebula Zeldris, it's, it's his called Executioner Zeldris. Interesting. Because uh, I didn't see any videos or anything, but I do believe that this should be the Ominous Nebula Zeldris. Let me just take a look at the ultimate. Damn. Damn. That looks, that looks AOE to me. Uh, Chandler and Mitsumi use the same one in the story. Yeah. The same one as story. Not the same cutting though. The cutting in story is different. Um, but of course. Zhao just huh? Yeah, he does have a counter. Um, let's take let's take a look already what they do. So Grand Cross Day Base have translated what they do. So shout out to them. So Zaljus. Increases allies' basic stats by 2% for every debuff applied on enemies. Ooh, that's... That's good if, um... Oh! So, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 I was <laughs> gonna finish my sentence, but then I read the command. Uh, that's really good with Assault Melee, if Assault Melee debuffs, right? But, here's the thing. If a critical strike occurs from skill use, Decreases crit rate and crit damage by 10%. Applies to both allies and enemies when entering battle with good damage. So they are changing his commandment. Because I was thinking, right? If they do release new uh, versions of the commandment characters, are they going to keep the same commandment? And the answer is no. It's a complete new commandment. Interesting. Inflicts cut damage equals to 500. Of, uh, does not cut... Mm. Huh. That's... Okay. That's... I don't know about this skill, but... So... Cut is... <laughs> a very interesting skill. Is it... Uh... Only Zaratus has it? No. No, is it... Zaratus is this, this passive, right? If Kirikos cut does not occur... Um, increases damage equals to the crit damage. And additional damage equals to 50 of 100% crit damage. What character has this skill? Or is this the first time like, I'm just making it up that someone has it because uh, because Zarat is a very similar passive and I thought, oh, it's the same thing. Um, oh, okay. No one, no one else has it. He just has a... a <laughs> His card skill is like the same thing as Zaratra's passive. Okay. Interesting. Uh. <laughs> That's okay. So. He does more damage if he doesn't crit. Hmm. So this is the counter card. Not a taunt. So. I was thinking, oh, Zeldris is gonna maybe have a taunt because Nebula Zeldris is like a... It would be a perfect counter unit, right? Uh, but unfortunately, he isn't. 
but they play the show ultimate gauge at the end of the enemy's turn, disables ultimate move for two turns. So, kind of what I wanted. What I said was, Zaldris should be a unit, that his passive is that when he doesn't take damage, he takes off ultimate gauge from the enemies. He debuffs the enemies to take off the ultimate gauge though. Now, this is good, for sure, and Assault Melee really needed a unit that takes off ultimate gauge more consistently, and the fact that it says enemies, I'm assuming that this is an AoE skill, uh, but this still means that he cannot do anything about Ascanor if Ascanor has, you know, immunity. Which is a lot of the time when he has ultimate. A lot of matches are decided when Ascanor has immunity. I'm telling you, like, when you're using Assault Melee, and you face Ascanor, every time they get their ultimate on turn 3 or 2, right? Turn 2. Um, but then the following turn, he becomes immune. So debuffing them doesn't matter, because next turn they're going to become immune. This is unfortunate. Because this skill is really good, but not good against Ascanor. What type is he? He's green. Of course he's green. It's really good, but not good against Ascanor. I mean, again, if it's like the first turn before he becomes immune, nice. But the immunity from Ascanor is such a prevalent thing in matches. It's insane. So that's very unfortunate. If Lick's damage equal 260... To one on an enemy. Done. It's not AOE. How? What? How? How is that thing not AOE? How is this not AOE? Like, like, bro. You gonna tell me that nuke isn't AOE? All right, all right, buddy. Um, decrease each pre list That's more enemies. Oh. So it is AoE. It's it's a single target. No, it, it is AoE. 560 on one decreases HP of all enemies. It's confusing. Alright, let's go to Chandler. Decreases all stats of enemies who use a skill for 7% for one third in PvP. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know why they keep giving us... They keep, like, not giving us what we want. We want a character that punishes enemies that don't use skills. But this could still be good. Uh, if someone uses a skill... They got their stats reduced by 7%. That, that's good. Um, inflicts damage equal to 400 on 1. Restricts all skill effects, including ultimate moves, for 2 turns. This is the same skill as Valenti, I believe. Um, this one? So, glad it's back. It's this skill. 160, nullifies all effects for 1 turn. 41 turn, 400 returns. Glides back. Um, <laughs> of course, of course, these both are like neither of these are red, right? They want they they want to ask other god. Um, assumes this. Oh, which taunts? Okay, okay, good boy, good boy. Assumes this stands for two turns, which taunts enemies and reflects damage equals to 300% of attack when taking attacks. Inflicts additional 100% of the damage taken. Oh, okay. So, this is a completely new kind of uh, taunt, right? So, unlike Astorosa, which just does attack damage, he does more damage the more damage he takes. That's interesting. Inflicts charge enemy equals to 455 of attacking all enemies. This is the same ult as uh, Jerome. And Drill has a pretty hard hitting ult. Damn. I want to see this in game. 
especially the Zeldris. Because the thing about like a like a the assault melee team is that assault melee just needs a little push, you know, and it's gonna like probably gonna be the best team in the game. Maybe this is the push. Um, I'm just kind of sad that this card right here is a debuff card and not like a counter card, right? That if you don't attack Zeldris, you lose ultimate gauge. That that would be so much better. Because you guys know, like the problem for the Assault Melee team is the enemy is just sitting there and charging ultimate. And then ulting you with the one, the following turn. Like if you're not facing the one and you're facing like Merlin, Pog, you can debuff her, right? It's just so common. I mean if you if you debuff the one turn one, it's less likely he's gonna get the ultimate turn like three or so. But I don't know. That immunity is something that I guess I just didn't consider. Um, let's go back to the patch notes. Oh, they, they gave Zaljus a very similar costume to uh, Meliodas, right? Meliodas is that uh, uh, costume. I like this one. Like a detective kind of thing. What is this? No! <laughs> Uh, Chandler. Oh, you fat bastard. You're getting a red demon costume. Okay. Um, let me take a look at the banner. How, how's the banner looking? We got, of course, Zaljus, Chandler. Milio is coming back. Yeah. Only Zaljus is limited to Holy War Festival. Nanashi. Uh, red hair Liz. Ludociao. I think this is... Is this going off for a blue or for... Uh... The... Is this the, the core shop commandments? Or is this the... Let me actually take a look. Uh, bruh. Okay, those are the summonable commandments. Ooh. Ooh. I wanted... Red Gallon in the banner. And are these the, uh... Mm. I'm assuming those are the card shop, com uh, like, uh, sins, right? Yeah. yeah. These are the coin shop sins. Uh, it's a yikes. I mean, the banner is definitely worse than Assault Melee's banner. Just because, uh... The summonable commandments are definitely worse than the coin shop commandments for the most part. That's that's kind of a weak banner. Ludosiao is nice, uh, but Ludosiao has kind of died down ever since Super Oken 5. He got completely shafted in Super Oken 5, if you don't know. Now he has like a very low CC compared to like some of the other units. Like Lo Lost Vein, um, Goddess Liz. Assault Melly, the one. The festival units in general have more CC than him, naturally. And that kind of completely cocked Ludosiao. Um, so I can't even use Ludosiao anymore because when I use Ludosiao, I get out CC'd by every goddess Liz because she just has natural higher CC than him, much, much higher. Um, and then also, freaking uh, Merlin just one shots him. You know? And now Assault Melly might just become the most more prevalent in the team as well, so Ludosiao is unfortunate. The banner is not looking the greatest, if I'm really honest with you. Um, I don't know what I was well, where else I was clicking. Let's actually take a look at the rest of the patch notes. New costumes for the goddesses? Oh, okay, this is cute. Alright, I hate goddess Liz, but... But come on, this is cute. Um, oh, it's cool. <laughs> He's acting his age! That's crazy. Wait, was this the last costume for Sario that he needed? I think so. Okay. That's probably gonna look really cool. All of this, y'all. Um, these are coming back. For cheaper. Yo, diamond pack, let's go! Yikes. Right. Uh, boss battle hell difficulty added? 
Oh, the, the, the boss battles. The ones like against Gilfander and everything, now they have hell difficulty. New Annihilation Battle Boss. Okay. This is just a r random demon. Because uh, they, they just said this is not for like level 90 or anything. Okay. New achievements. Mm hmm. Actually, this is it. Zaldris. Oh, buffs. Oh, I can't read this. I'm gonna wait for Grunkers Database to read this. But buffs. Buffs are coming. Um. Good. Ooh. Okay. Good luck. If you summon. Jeez, there's a lot of bu <laughs> uh, buff removals, huh? A lot of bug removals, huh? Alright. I'm done.